Uh, good afternoon, there's wonderful story of love. The love of our Lord Jesus Christ to mankind. The man who died on the cross of Calvary for all to be redeemed from their sinful nature. And you are watching International Christian Association. Like we do tell people, this is a ministry that God has commissioned to go and speak about the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. The message for all at this season, the message for all at this time. Without this message, there's no, there's no sermon. Once again, you are welcome. And today being the first time of appearing on, on, on faith television, we want to let everyone know that by the grace of God, starting from next week, we'll be coming up on our program by 2 o'clock. Between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock, God willing. And the Lord will preserve your soul even beyond then in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is um, Prophet Stephen Larry Olotu. And the man of God beside me today is Pastor Dari Orimaki. God bless you God for coming, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Please speak to the people of God to know that, yes, you are here. Well, I'm happy to be here again this afternoon. For everyone watching at home, I trust that the Lord will bless you by today's broadcast in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, you know, before we move on, I, I want you to know, like I said, that here is a ministry that God commissioned to speak about the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's not a church program. This program is for all men and women created by God. It doesn't matter what you believe in. If you are a Christian, if you are a Muslim, if you are a pagan, if you are an herbalist. This program is for every mankind who need to, to, to listen to the word of the kingdom, which will be the end result of our journey here on earth. If you know that you will live and die one day, you need this message. It shall be well with us as we listen today in Jesus' name. Amen. Why don't you beckon to somebody around you today to come and listen to what God is about to speak to all. And why don't you look for your Bible? Because we want to enter into the Word of God together to really know what and what I and you need to do to achieve this kingdom of God that we are talking about. Because this kingdom of God is not a matter of butter and bread. It's not about wine and food that we eat. It's about the righteousness in the holiness of the Almighty God. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, before we move on, I want to ask the man of God to lead us in prayer as we commit everything we're going to do into the hands of the Lord. Father, Over the, to sir. Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father, Lord, we bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. The Spirit of the living God, Holy Spirit, we bless your name, O God, for your presence in this place, O Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, Father, we have come to you today, Lord Jesus, O God. We ask, O God, that you speak through your servant in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let your presence fill this studio now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your presence go to every home, to every individual watching. Lord, let your presence bring transformation to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, today save so. Lord, heal the sick. Amen. Lord, deliver the oppressed. Amen. Lord, transform like break addictions, Lord. Amen. Lord, let your name be glorified, Lord. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Say amen at home. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the living water. Flow of my soul, let your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled my heart. All my cares I'm burdened unto you, 
I rock Jesus, 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 Spirit, 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 Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, this is International Christian Association, and we are bringing the message of the living water of the Lord to you today. And what is it that God is having for us today? It's very simple. I do tell people the word of God is ever simple to the heart of those that need God. There's nothing too big for man to understand. Because Jesus, somebody had run through it ahead of us before. That is the reason why the whole thing is simple for us. And what we see that is happening for us today is very simple. Like I said, your kingdom is not of this world. Amen. Say big amen to that one. Amen. Your kingdom that you are running, that you should be running, you're supposed to run. It's not about the kingdom of the world that we are in. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, when you are talking about the kingdom, you are talking about a territory that you have for yourself, a territory you have for yourself to express, you know, your power, your greatness, your dominion. Mm. That is what kingdom is all about. And Jesus Christ has given this world to mankind as their kingdom, where to rule. And God said that to us in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 28. He made us to know that, yes, he has given, he created us to take dominion mm. over everything he made for us here on earth. Hallelujah. Amen. But much more than that, when Jesus came, he made us to know, to realize there, there is another kingdom, bigger than the kingdom that was given to man in the Garden of Eden that we lost to Satan. The kingdom of this earth can never surpass that kingdom that Jesus spoke about before he left. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are bringing a word to somebody today that is listening, that needs to know what he should be striving for, should be working towards. The hang on, you have a kingdom ahead of you. That kingdom is not here. It's somewhere. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And in that kingdom, all you want to do is to exercise your power. In the kingdom that Jesus has given unto you, you are to exercise the authority that God has for you as his children, as a child of God, as a man and woman God created in his image, in his spirit. Mm. His spirit, he created you and I. Mm. So if you are, if somebody is saying to you that you don't have authority, tell that person, no, I have authority in the kingdom of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. In the world of the kingdom, I have great authority. Mm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And your kingdom is of righteousness and faith and holiness. Mm. This righteousness that we are talking about can be found in the kingdom of God. Faith can be found in this kingdom we are talking about. And holiness is found in this kingdom. If you don't have all this in that kingdom we are talking about, then you cannot reign in that kingdom ahead of you. Hallelujah. Amen. That kingdom of God that we are talking about is about you coming closer to God. I believe you have your Bible. Why don't you open your Bible to the book of John, chapter 18 today? And let's start from verse 27 and see what Jesus was trying to make us to understand. That truly, if you want to walk like me, if you want to journey to the kingdom of God, if you are saying to yourself, yes, if I die, I will reign with Jesus. I will reign in the kingdom of God. There are some things you cannot but do. There are things you cannot leave undone. 
There are things you cannot leave behind. Jesus Christ, you cannot leave some stones unturned for you to enter to this kingdom. For me to enter to this kingdom. What does he say? Peter then denied again. Peter then denied again. And immediately the cock crew. And immediately the cock crew. Then let the Jesus from Kevat unto the hall of judgment. Because Jesus Christ made him to know that, yea, Peter, you will deny me. And immediately the word of Jesus came to pass. He remembered cock crew. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to enter into this kingdom of God, you cannot deny God. You cannot deny you believe you have about God. And expect this kingdom to be sure. Yes, sir. What does he say, sir? And it was early. And it was early. And they themselves went not into the judgment hall. They did not go. You no, know, when you are talking about the kingdom you are talking about, you, more, you need to understand so many things. That kingdom is for you and you alone with God. Mm. Hey, when you want to carry your shoulder, you know, high in the Lord. Mm. And you want to carry your cross on that your shoulder. It is you alone and God. Not even your friend, not even your wife, not even your partner, not even your president. It is you alone with God. It came to a point that some people could not even go in with Jesus Christ. That's why that they were so close to him, they called him master. Even those that hated him, that handed him to, over to the enemy, they couldn't go in with him. Hallelujah. Amen. What does he say for that, sir? Lest they should be defied, but that they might eat the Passover. Yes. Pilate then went on to them and said, What accusation bring you against this man? You know, there are some things of this world that will not allow those people that of the world to follow you, you that is aspiring for the kingdom of God. They couldn't go in, in there because of the Passover. Hallelujah. They know they have something behind. To go and celebrate. And they want to leave him alone to his problem. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are, for this kingdom we are talking about, a time will come that you'll be left alone. Hallelujah. Amen. Your kingdom that you are talking about, you are aspiring for, is not of this world. Hallelujah. Amen. What does he say, sir? They answered and said unto him. They said to him. If it were not a male factor, we would have delivered him up unto thee. Uh -huh. You know, the, 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 the man on the ground, the, 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 the authority of the land was asking them a question. Uh, do you know this man that you brought to us? Or you are surcharging him for another person? Or you are misdealing with his case? And they said to Jesus, uh, if you don't know him, we will not bring him here. Is the real re man. Is the real man in the act. Man of God, woman of God. Children of God, you are the real man in the act of this kingdom. Don't let anybody misrepresent you. And even when it comes to people leaving you alone with your problem, they, you, they will not surface. It is you and God for that kingdom. Don't be deceived. Hallelujah. Amen. The kingdom we are talking about is not of this world. That when you want to fight, you need someone to come and fight with you. No. Hallelujah. Amen. That yes, when you want to lie against somebody, you need someone to support you. That is the kingdom of the earth. The world that we are in. But when it comes to the kingdom of God, it is you and alone with your the act of righteousness, faith and holiness in the law. What does he say for that, sir? Then said Pilate unto them. Then said Pilate to them. Take you him and judge him according to your law. The authority of the last, okay, you brought him to me to be judged. But the way I see now, let me leave him back to you to be judged. What did they say? Then the, the Jews therefore said unto him. Then your enemy will say this. It is not lawful for us to put any man to death. They know that they're supposed not to judge you. They know that the authority has not been given to them to judge you. Hallelujah. If I may say to you today that you are the judge of yourself, I don't think I'm misrepresenting a word here. Mm. You are the one that will judge yourself in the judgment day. Because it is whatever you do that will stand before, that, that will stand before me, mm. that will stand before us. Mm. 
Hallelujah. They say we know him. We, are, we, are, we, are, we cannot judge him because the authority to judge is not in our hand. But they know that. Why do they bring Jesus before the law? Hallelujah. Amen. Because they believe in the kingdom of the world here. Where you can do whatever you like. Where you can lie against somebody. Where you can kill somebody the way you like. Where you can do errors the way you like. Where you don't mind to do evil as you like. But the kingdom of God does not permit all these things that we are talking about. That you are a bishop does not mean you cannot be watchful over what you do for your kingdom to be sure. That you are imam does not mean you must not be careful to think about somewhere, someday. The kingdom of God is not about the world that we are in here. It's about where we are going. Where you are aspiring to go. What does he say for us? Then, that the saying of Jesus must be fulfilled. Yes. Which is spoke signifies the kind of death you should die. If you call yourself a Christian, some things must happen in your life. For you to prove that truly you are the Lord. Jesus Christ spoke about all that will happen to him. Either they believe it or they don't believe it. They see them happening. Happen on their faces. At their time. If God speaks to you today. That yet my son, my daughter. I will do this. I will do this with you. For you. Then if you don't keep that word of the Lord. Nobody will keep it with you. If Christ is not taken, you will lose your faith in that same journey to your breakthrough. If heavenly kingdom is your breakthrough, your last hope, then be watchful. Because the kingdom of God is not bread and butter, and it's not of this world. What does he say, sir? Then Pilate enter into the judgment hall. Then Pilate now enter into the judgment hall because and they've said they've given back the party button to him. They said, it is your assignment, it is your job. What does he say, sir? And called Jesus and said unto him. And he called Jesus as Jesus is calling somebody today and asked you, what does he ask him? Are thou the king of the Jews? Are thou the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him. Are you a child of God today? Are you aspiring for the kingdom of God today? Do you hope for this kingdom that will come? Hallelujah. Because the, this kingdom of God is about you and God. The judgment day will be between you and God. Hallelujah. What does he say to him? I mean to them, sir. Then Jesus answered him. He said to him. Did you say this thing of yourself or does other tell you of me? Are you saying this thing by what you see? Or you overheard what we are saying about me? Pilate answered. Maybe many of us, as you are watching, maybe you are still not convinced that you are a child of God. Maybe you are yet to be convinced that, yes, the kingdom of God will come one day. Maybe it's because you are just hearing it on papers. Even, you know, on sermons like this. On preachings, on the television, you are not, you, you, can't, you can't be sure. He asks him, are you asking this thing on your evolution? Are you sure you know me or you don't know me? Maybe you heard about me. What does he say to him? Pilate answered, am I a Jew? And Pilate answered Jesus Christ, am I a Jew? I'm not, I'm not one of them. I am different to them. I am not part of them. Hallelujah. Amen. What is it to be your response? Because you should be a man, a woman in faith that could challenge, that should be able to challenge your challengers. And Jesus challenged his challenger because he knew that the kingdom here is not his. Though he has dominion over everything here, but he said, my kingdom is not of here. It's of somewhere. Yes, sir. What does he say, sir? Uh, your own nation and the chief priests have delivered you unto me. It is your people. That is one of the things you want to know here today. If you are a Christian or if you are somebody created by God, it is your people. If Christ is not taken, you will not know that your people can destroy you. Hmm. 
A man will not believe that a wife can destroy the husband. A wife will not believe that, yeah, my husband can destroy me. If you, if you are not careful, you don't know that your friend can put into the pit. And the man made sure to know that, yeah, it is your people that, that are putting you to trouble that you are in now. But when you are a man of the kingdom, you will know that you are not in trouble. Hallelujah. Amen. We are getting there to know what again you need to do not to put yourself in trouble. Yes, sir. He said, what have you done? What have you done? Jesus answered. Jesus then answered. My kingdom is not of this world. My kingdom is not of this world. Hallelujah. Amen. My kingdom is not of here. Mm. That is why you think what they are doing has authority over me. When you have the Lord, the things of the world will have no authority over you. What do I mean? You will know that, yes, I am doing the will of my Father in heaven. Therefore, I am of him. I am of the Lord. No evil will overcome my life. Even when the wish kill you here or not, even when you die of accident here, even when you die in the sea here in the water, you know that somewhere is, is coming ahead of you where you will not die. After all, they killed Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary because he knows that this kingdom that is talking about is not about here. He did not even res rescue himself. He did not even struggle with them. He said, if you know that I have a place better than this place, you will not do this with me. The kingdom we are talking about today is ahead of us. Jesus is coming back to take people that will go by this message to that place. Like I told you, it's not, it's not, it's not a regional you know, uh, message. It is a message of the heart of the Lord to mankind. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, we are moving further. We are now talking about the righteousness in the kingdom of God. What does verse 19 say, sir, in that same chapter? Verse 19 to 23, what does he say? Verse 19. Yes, sir. The high priest then asked Jesus. The, of his I, the high priest now asked Jesus and the disciple. Oh, they asked Jesus of his disciple and of his doctrine. Jesus answered him, I spoke openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue. Now the doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ is not what these people, people are taking today. People believe in the outward doctrine. Don't put on this on your head. Mm. Don't put on this on the head. No, 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 no. They are, they, are just, they are just about, you know, obedience to the commandment. That there's no how you want to serve God and you will not listen to his word. And be obedient to his commandment. Hallelujah. Amen. But the doctrine of the Lord Jesus Christ is inwardly. Is the things of your heart. Things of your mind. He says, no. The doctrine, you'll be hearing me talking about the doctrine. The doctrine is about doing the will of the Lord. Mm. Understanding what God wants from you. It's not talking about tribal message. Mm. It's not talking about uh, regional, you know, uh, message. Mm. It's not talking about national, you know, message. Mm. It's talking about what God wants you as a believer mm. to, to, to do. Even though that does not believe in Christ Jesus to do. As we are coming in the car this morning, or this afternoon, one of us said something. He said, he, 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 there was a day, he, you know, a, 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 a young guy called for a cab. And as he was taking him to where he was going, the car was about to have an accident. And the guy said, oh, Jesus. Oh, and the guy said, oh, oh, congratulations. So you are my, uh, you are my brother in Christ. And the guy said, no, I'm not a Christian. I'm not, I, I'm not a church girl. But it's only that my mom used to call that name, Jesus and God, whenever he is in trouble. <laughs> so you know that you can call Jesus Christ when you are in trouble to save you and you don't believe in him. It goes beyond that one. The doctrine that Jesus is saying here, he said, I said it openly. 
It is a message to everyone to know, to hear, that there are things they need to do to achieve this kingdom work that we are talking about. The same message that God is talking to the Christians is the same he said to the Muslim, even to those who doesn't even believe that there is God, that a kingdom is coming one day that is beyond this place. And it's going to be a kingdom between you and God. Nobody is coming to stand for you. What does he say for that, sir? Quickly. If my kingdom were of this world, if my kingdom were of this world, then will my servant fight? Then I will have allowed my servant to fight. That I should not be delivered <laughs> to the Jews. Remember, if you know the Bible very well, we might not go to because of our time. We have you know few minutes to spend today. Hallelujah. We are coming back by his grace. Mm. Amen. Amen. When they came to arrest Jesus Christ, if you if you are if you, if you are a Bible believer, you will know that one of his servants drew out his sword and cut a hair, one of the ear of those that came to arrest Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ said, no, 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 no. My kingdom is not of fear. Don't fight for my kingdom. <laughs> you are watching, you are seeing one of those in church. You are one of the people in the community that you need that people around you to fight that your battle with you. You need to destroy every place for you to be, to, 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 to get away with what you need. That is not what the kingdom of God is all about. He said, I will have allowed my followers to fight. Mm. He even said to them, he said, if I had wanted to fight them, mm. all I needed is to say, God, my father in heaven, send me mm. a just one army from heaven mm. and destroy this one. Mm. So the kingdom of God is not what you can fight for. Mm. The only thing that can you know, fight for that kingdom for you is to walk in the righteousness of the Lord, having your faith in God, mm. and play your holiness in him. Hallelujah. Amen. The kingdom, your kingdom, you that is watching, your kingdom, you call yourself a child of God. You believe in God. You don't believe in, in Jesus. You, you believe in God. There are some people that don't believe in Jesus. They believe in God because they don't believe that God can have a child. Thank, thank God for that one. That is why he said, Trinity, that's not how you want to be a son of the Father, mm. that you don't have share in that of the Son. Mm. Just believe in one of them. That yet, that God says, I should not do this. I should do this. And work for what God wants you to do. And see if that your kingdom will not be sure. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. What does he say for that, sir? 23. So, that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now if my kingdom is not from here. But it's because my kingdom is not from here. Pilate therefore said unto him. Pilate now there is, you know, many of us that are aspiring for this kingdom of God. We are fighting for ourselves. You, you want to destroy that your marriage because you want, to, you want your husband to know that yeah, you have authority, you have power. Mm -hmm. And you want your wife to know that I'm the head of this house. Mm -hmm. You want your church members to know that I'm the pastors of this place. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, a day is coming that all those things will not have a stand before the almighty kingdom that we are talking about. Then he said for that side. Said then my, my servants will have fight, but that I should not be delivered unto you. But now is my kingdom is not from here. Yes. Pilate therefore said unto him, Are thou a king? Jesus answered, Are you a king? Thou said that I'm a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause <laughs> came I into the world, <laughs> that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth hear my voice. Hallelujah. Amen. He says to him, Yes, I am a king. It's only a king that can heal half kingdom. Amen. Amen. Because God has given the authority from the beginning to take over, to rule over, to take dominion. You are a king. You are a princess. Mm. You have authority and power to take dominion, mm. to take over things for yourself. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. That yes, I am a child of the king. Mm. Then you believe that everything in that kingdom belongs to you. Mm. He says it's because, because you don't know. That whoever has this kingdom that I'm talking about there on earth, I mean, in heaven, we have this kingdom here on earth. Mm. We rule over the kingdom here on earth. Mm. But it's, it made him to know that, yes, the kingdom that I'm talking about is all about the truth. I want to read that place again, sir, so that they will know, they will hear again. Okay. So, 23, that's 23. Jesus answered. Jesus answered. Thou said that I'm a king. You said I'm a king. To this end, to was this I born. end was I born. I was I was born to be a king. Mm. 
You are born as a child of God. The day you said, I know God, you are born to be a king, to be a ruler of a kingdom. Mm. That kingdom of God in the spiritual realm is for you to rule over. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. So don't think you are... You are there, you are still crying about that. Where is your face, God? God is not answering me. It's you that is not answering your prayer, so not God. Because God wants you to talk to him in your righteousness, in your holiness, in your faith, in your truth, spirit. Jesus Christ said, you cannot serve God without serving him in his spirit, in what he wants, mm. and in truth. And Jesus Christ responded here again, he said, I am a man of the truth. Mm. That is what my kingdom stands for. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know what people are doing around us today that is making them, hallelujah, that is making them know where to be found before the Lord. What they do today that will not allow them to be seen by God. They, they, can, they, can, they can lie against anybody. They can kill anybody anyhow. Mm. They can, they can, oh my God, they can send you power from your, that's your breakthrough. Mm. And they are calling themselves people of God, child of God, somebody who knows God, who understands God very well. Mm. But Jesus Christ said, if you are my child, you will be truthful to my expectations, mm. to my words. Mm. What are we saying here today? We are talking about the kingdom of God that is not of the world that we are in here. Hallelujah. Amen. The kingdom that we are talking about is very sure. For whoever believes in that God that we are talking about, the almighty God today, because there are so many gods around us today, gods of stone, water, of the moon of stone, even some have taken all the created as their God. But when you believe in this almighty God, you reference him, and that God will take you to himself. See, we come back again next week. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, please you can do so. As I ask the man of God to pray for everyone that is watching today. Over to you, sir. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. For everyone who is making a decision to give their life to Jesus today. Yes, Lord. I pray for you that in the name of Jesus Christ, that the Lord Jesus will give you a revelation of himself. Amen. That the encounter you will have with the Lord Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For everyone at home, I pray the Lord bless you in a special way. Amen. The word that you have had today, the kingdom of God will rest upon your heart. Amen. In righteousness, peace, and Amen. joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. And you'll be able to stand for the Lord Jesus. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. You no. Know, See, we come by the same time next week, which is going to be 2 o'clock. I mean, 2 o'clock by the grace of God. You know, if Jesus tarries for me and from the same man of God, we are saying, God bless you. Amen. Your kingdom will be sure in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.